Welcome back to my channel, Max Cyber. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell. Thank you. Today video is about basic electronics parts, capacitors, resistors, transistors and diodes and give you some ideas how it works. A capacitor is an electronic component that stores and releases electricity in a circuit. It also passes alternating current, without passing direct current. A capacitor is an indispensable part of electronic equipment and is thus almost invariably used in an electronic circuit. The different types of capacitors are following. Electrolytic capacitor. Microcapacitor. Paper capacitor. Film capacitor. Non-polarized capacitor. Ceramic capacitor. analogy of capacitors are compares the flow of electric current with the flow of water out of a tank a capacitor stores energy when it is charged the water tank would be the capacitor and it would be charged by a pump a battery which fills it up this is the example of a series capacitor connection this is the example of a parallel capacitor connection a resistor is a passive two-terminal electrical component that implements electrical resistance as a circuit element. In electronic circuits, resistors are used to reduce current flow, adjust signal levels, to divide voltages, bias active elements, and terminate transmission lines, among other uses. Different types of resistors Wire wound resistors Metal film resistor Thick film and thin film resistors Surface mount resistors Network resistors Variable resistors Light dependent resistors If we describe the voltage, current, and resistance, the common analogy is a water tank. In this analogy, charge is represented by the amount of water, voltage is represented by the pressure of the water, and current is represented by the glove of the water. For this analogy, remember that water is equal charge. Here is the example of resistor series connection. Here is the example of the resistor's parallel connection. A transistor is a semiconductor device used to amplify or switch electronic signals and electrical power. It is composed of semiconductor material usually with at least three terminals for connection to an external circuit. Some types of transistors are bipolar junction transistor, diffusion transistor, avalanche transistor, Schottky transistor, Darlington transistor, header junction bipolar transistor, field effect transistor, junction FET transistor. Here is the transistor diagram, and function, emitter terminal is the heavily doped region as compared to base and collector. This is because the work of the emitter is to supply charge carrier to the collector via the base. The size of the emitter is more than base but less than the collector. Base the middle section of the transistor is known as the base. The base forms two circuits, the input circuit with the emitter and the output circuit with the collector. The emitter base circuit is in forward biased and offered the low resistance to the circuit. The collector base junction is always in reverse bias. Its main function is to remove the majority charges from its junction with the base. The collector section of the transistor is moderately doped, but larger in size so that it can collect most of the charge carrier supplied by the emitter. A diode is a semiconductor device that essentially acts as a one-way switch for current. It allows current to flow easily in one direction, but severely restricts current from flowing in the opposite direction. When a diode allows current flow, it is forward biased. Different types of diodes Small signal diode Zener diode Light emitting diode LED Constant current diodes Schottky diode Shockley diode Step Recovery Diodes A diode has two terminals. The positive side is called the anode, and the negative one is called the cathode. The diode circuit symbol, with the anode and cathode marked. 
Thanks for watching guys, hope you get some idea on today video, and please don't forget to subscribe my channel.